The National Day of Mourning is a day where people come together and we pay our respects to all the fallen workers who have either died from an illness or just going to work from a hazard or an accident that brought them to their death. So it's a good day to come together and, and people just share their stories. It's a really important message for people to know that you know no one should die going to work and it, it's good to have a day where these workers are recognized and their families can talk, politicians talk, and it's just a really special day. My father was killed in 2005 in a workplace accident. Uh, my dad was 65 years old, was a very experienced uh, trades worker, knew the ins and outs, he knew it all. And unfortunately, he um, was on a job site on Parliament Hill and his backhoe ended up going over the cliff. So. Nobody could have um, kind of predicted that something to that magnitude would have happened, but it did. So since that accident, I've been working with an organization called Threads of Life. So I've been working really closely with them since 2007. I've run a marathon in my father's memory since 2007. So I've run 19 to date uh, marathons in, in raising money for my dad and I've raised almost $50,000. So that money goes towards other families and maybe giving them therapy or allowing them to go to speaker forums and uh, just giving them like what they need to help them with their grief. So that's been a really important part of my life. So there's many ways that we can support each other as OCSB employees in our workplace and in terms of advocating being safe in your workplace. Talk to each other, talk to administrators and um, get as much education as you can on it. There's resources everywhere. Do some reading, ask some questions. There are loads of things available to us as employees. And as colleagues, we need to be kind to each other. Mental health is a huge thing for workplace safety too. We have to be aware of that. People are struggling. You have to be listening. You have to be non-judgmental to people. You have to understand that people's struggles are real and everybody's struggle is different. And maybe I have fallen and broken a limb at work or maybe so-and-so has hurt their back at work, but it's too embarrassed to tell anybody. So we need to be that supportive listening ear to everybody. Just that awareness and that support where, you know what, your back is hurting because of this or that, well, there's things in place. You can get an ergonomic assessment and you can get a special chair. You don't have to suffer in your workplace, which I think is great. There's so much tools out there from the OCSB and so many resources and there's help available to everybody. I want to tell everybody, be safe at work. No matter what it is you're doing, know where you're working, know what you're working with, just be educated about your workplace. And a lot of people may not like doing that safety training, but you know what? We need to do it. We all need to do it.